Hello Eurovision fans, it's time for another Eurovision battle where I take two songs from the Eurovision Song Contest and have them fight it out in rounds, looking at different aspects of the song and performance, giving points to the winner. And today I am having Loreen fight it out with Kerrie. They are the two favorites to win Eurovision and they are my second and third favorite at the moment. It's changing every day and I'm not quite sure which of the two songs I like more actually. So I thought this would be a fun uh, Eurovision song battle for me personally as well. And apparently you are also quite interesting because over 1,500 of you have voted in my poll. We are going to look at the results later on and also I've gotten very many comments on which of the two songs is better. So let's get right to it. The first aspect I want to look at is the staging. Let's start with, let's start with Caddy here because it's fun. Well, what can I say? There is great energy. Um, the first intense part with the different camera angles I think is really well done. Um, the dancers coming in add a lot to the craziness of the whole performance. Dancing part and human centipede, like the, the walking crab is what I call it, and human centipede because I don't know how to call it, adds to the craziness, to the uniqueness of the whole performance. I mean, it's crazy, it's party, right? That's what he's saying, and he's completely right. Tattoo... Yeah, it's a very professional pop performance. There's an amazing music video feel almost. The platform lifting with the song is also really well done and uh, works with the message of the song. The color schemes are really interesting, seem like from a science fiction movie. 100% professional performance. So already I'm running into problems because I think both of them are just amazing tattoo in its professionalism and cha-cha-cha in its weirdness, uniqueness, creativity. So I have decided to give a point to both of them. That can also happen in this game. Now the next round is the performance. This is more about how the main singer performs. Um, you know, Caddy has just 100% energy throughout the entire performance. That's what makes it so interesting. From the very intense beginning to the very fun end, he is in it 100% throughout the entire song. And he can change the energy so quickly from intense to party. Really well done. Lots of interesting movements he does and he interacts with the audience. And I think that's very important. Through all the weirdness and the craziness, you get to make a connection to him in a way. And that's really cool. Loreen, on the other hand, is quite distant. There is not that much of a connection to the audience, I think. But I do love this emotional part um, when the Arabic music uh, comes in. You really see on her face all of the emotion. And obviously, she's an amazing performer herself. Flawless dancing, flawless performance. But I'm giving this one to Kadia because I think the connecting to the audience is actually very, very important. And it makes me like the performance more and gets me uh, go back to watch it again and again. So this point goes to Kadia. Up next, we have the lyrics. Well, Tattoo has quite standard pop lyrics. Not too much to mention. There are great moments like, I just want to be loved. That's a sentence that really stands out. Um, the song and the whole instrumentation kicks in with the pain part. I love that very much in the song. And the climax of the chorus comes together with the pain, rain. I want to go through pain to be with you. Um, it does tell a story of impossible love and hope in the future. But... <laughs> Cha-Cha-Cha is just on a whole other level of originality also with the lyrics. He starts by saying that he's stressed out by the week he's had and he just wants to relax. He wants to smash the icy shell, icy shell overcome his shyness and just, you know, yeah, overcome the stress. And he manages to do that by drinking piña coladas or pina coladas, as I've learned they say in Finland, apparently. And he just becomes a party animal. By doing that, he goes on the dance floor, becomes part of the party, kind of, or the center of the party. And it's genius how the song 
also um, develops in the same way the lyrics do. So the, the story the lyrics tell are also re reflected in the genre change of the song. So I have made a video about this if you want to know more, but this one very clearly for me goes to Cha 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 as well. Now the voice, Kedia is very good at singing both the intense metal parts at the beginning and the more schlagery dance disco part at the end. But the voice I have to give to Lorene, she's singing flawlessly with all the movements she's doing. Her voice hasn't changed at all. It's still amazing. She hits all the high notes. So this one is a point for Lorene. So we are two to three for Cha 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 at the moment. And the next one is the song. And I always say this, as the song is the most important part of the whole Eurovision package, I have subdivided it into four subgroups. The first one being melody and hook. Um, I have said many times that I don't really like the hook of tattoo, the ooh, 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 because it kind of cheapens the whole thing and the performance to me a little bit. So, but I do love the melody quite a lot, how the chorus builds, how it really gets to your feelings, at least for me. And cha-cha-cha is also really catchy, the cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha part. Um, you can't get it out of your head. So I think the hook is better in cha-cha-cha. I think the melody is better in um, tattoo. So again, I cannot really decide and I'm giving a point to both of them. Now the structure, Tattoo is quite of a standard pop song, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, the other way around, but okay. Um, cha Cha Cha, I have said it with the lyrics, it's completely fresh and unique in the way it is structured from the intense beginning to the dancey disco part at the end, the way it tells a story. So this one very clearly goes to Cha Cha Cha. Then we have Originality. I can repeat everything I've already said. Cha 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 is just a weird, unique, very interesting mix of genres. I've said that in the ra rating video. These are all genres I don't really like, but it kind of works. And I mean, I don't really know why it works, but the mix and the uniqueness and the weirdness just really work for me. So originality, definitely a point for Cha 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 as well. And last but not least, song overall. This is where I don't analyze too much and I just see how I feel about the song, which song makes me feel better, which song I like to listen to more. And here, again, it's very hard to choose and that's the main reason why they are second and third and switching all the time in my favorites because there are days where I like to two more because of the professionalism, because of the um, growing chorus and the catchiness and there are days where I prefer cha-cha-cha because of the weirdness, the uniqueness. So again, I'm giving a point to both of them because I just can't decide. But that means we do have a winner and it is cha-cha-cha. And I'm actually quite surprised because they are so close to each other that cha-cha-cha has gotten three more points than tattoo. Maybe I should put it in second place of my favorites. Before you go, please don't, because I also have your votes. Here they are. You guys voted in the community tab of my channel. So if you want to join these votes, please subscribe to my channel and you will see my polls for Tattoo and Cha Cha Cha. Also, I think very interesting, 33% of you prefer Tattoo and 68% that can't be right, 67%, I should say, sorry, um, prefer cha-cha-cha. Yeah, if you want more song battles, let me know which ones you are interested in. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you for my next video. Bye-bye.